Hey, what's going on guys? It's Oxus here, back with another Akata Mobile video. Now, today what we're going to be looking at is SMGs. Now, I already did a video covering all the SMGs, but since I made that video, there has been a lot of changes, specifically in Season 2. They did make a lot of different uh, balance changes with the different SMGs. And also, they did add the SMG, the Razorback, but just for transparency, that gun is the exact same as the PDW. I already tested it. The only thing different between the Razorback and the PDW is the iron sights and the sound of it, but everything else functionality-wise, of the weapon is the exact same as the PDW. So I won't be specifically talking about the Razorback, but whenever I do refer to the PDW, just know that the Razorback is being mentioned. So with that being said, the five SMGs inside of Call of Duty Mobile are the MSMC, the AKS-74U, the HG-40, the PDW-57, and then also the weapon that I always mispronounced, but the Tricom. So if you haven't seen my past in-depth weapon guide type videos, basically the first thing we start with is looking at each gun's recoil. So in this video, we will be approaching recoil a little bit different. So typically I stack the recoil trees, but this time we're going to go ahead and spread it out, especially with SMGs, just because there's only a couple SMGs. And when I do ARs, there's so many that it's hard to fit all those recoil patterns in. But for the SMGs, since there's only five, we can go ahead and split them up. But now we can look a little bit more in depth at each gun's recoil. I will also be breaking down the recoil into five shots, 10 shots, and 30 shots. With that being said, we are now looking at the five shot spray patterns. And as you can tell, the MSMC is the gun that kicks the most. And also the Chikung does kick pretty hard the Chikum is a burst weapon meaning that it shoots three rounds and then it takes a break from shooting and then shoots another three rounds and so on and so forth you can full auto it you don't have to like tap each burst you just hold down the fire button and it'll shoot those bursts as fast as they can I do want to note that COD Mobile secretly buffed the Chikum this update and basically what they did is they sped up the burst a little bit and then they also decreased the time in between bursts so basically the Chikum is just going to be shooting way faster after the update in between each burst, the recoil of the chai cum is able to kind of go down, but as you can tell, just the burst itself does kick pretty hard. And the lowest recoil guns are definitely going to be the HD40, the PDW, which does have a little bit of shake in it, uh, and then the AKS has gone up a decent amount since the last update. Okay, so now we'll be looking at the 10 shot spray patterns, and as you can tell, as always, the MSMC is kicking like crazy. Uh, it doesn't go side to side a ton. It does have a little bit of shake, uh, but as you can tell, it really just goes straight up like crazy. Uh, the AKS, they, like, once again, they nerfed the AKS's recoil, so as you can tell, it's going side to side a lot. I was looking at the recoil before they nerfed it, and the recoil doesn't go side to side that much. It did a little bit, but now it's really noticeable that it kicks side to side and is very random. Uh, then the HD40 has like no recoil. As you can tell, it's going straight up and barely side to side at all. And then the PDW, as you can tell, it kind of goes side to side here and there, but it doesn't go very high. And then the Shikom is just kind of like this straight line. It does kick kind of high, but it doesn't really go side to side. All right, now if we go ahead and look at the full 30 shots, as you can tell, the AKS is crazy, the MSMC is crazy, the HD40 is a laser, the PDW is, isn't is crazy, it doesn't have a whole lot of side to side, uh, it does go pretty high though, I think it's the second highest recoil, um, but it doesn't go side to side very much, uh, and then the Shikom is not that bad at all, but once again, each burst does kick pretty hard, and then what happens is the recoil goes down and then resets, and also if I say the Shikom, uh, I apologize, I know it's the Chikom, I just learned that, but I am very used to saying the Shikom. They also buffed the MSMC in this patch where a foregrip added to the weapon is going to have have a huge effect on the recoil so if you use this gun without a grip and then you add a grip you're going to notice a massive massive difference in the recoil the msmc recoil with a grip is actually very easy to manage compared to without but yeah, so final conclusion is the HD40 is definitely a laser and the PDW is pretty good. And then the MSMC is pretty gnarly, but also you can tell it doesn't go side to side a whole lot. So it's not super brutal to control. Uh, and I'd say honestly, probably the hardest to control now is the AKS um, in terms of just like you side to side is so aggressive that you're not going to be able to compensate for that. And then the reload speed for each gun, as you can tell, the MSMC, the Chikom, and the HD40 all have the same at 2.1, and then the AKS and the PDW have pretty terrible uh, reload speeds of 2.4 and 2.6. To be honest, though, the PDW does have 50 rounds in the magazine, though, so it does kind of make sense. Also, the fire rate combined with the mag size makes the MSMC a gun that absolutely needs a extended mag. And then the AKS has a 2.4 reload speed with 36 rounds in the mag, which is kind of weird because 36 isn't that much. It's actually the same as the Chikom, um, and it's still significantly slower than the Chikom at reloading. So obviously recoil isn't the only factor in assessing how good a gun is. You also have to look at other things. So let's go ahead and look at some other important statistics in the uh, SMG class. 
Okay, so now what you're looking at is the gun's damage, the gun's bullet per second, so its fire rate, and its damage per second. I also do want to note that I got a lot of feedback on my last in-depth AR video about adding time to kill. So in this video, we will be talking about time to kill as well as DPS. So as you can tell, the gun with the highest damage is the HD40, and the gun with the lowest damage is the AKS. Obviously, a gun's damage doesn't mean that much if it's not going to shoot very fast, and the guns that shoot the fastest are the MSMC at 15.5 bullets per second, and the lowest is the HD40 at a very, very low 9.1 bullets per second. So when you multiply these numbers, the damage per bullet and then the bullets per second, you're going to get a damage per second of 403 for the MSMC and the lowest in class of 255 for the HD40. Now, these stats give a very good representation of how good the guns are. So as you can tell, the MSMC obviously it kicks the hardest, but it has the most damage. And then the gun that kicks the least has the least amount of damage per second, that is. And that's just basically how gun balancing works, but obviously gun balancing isn't always going to be perfect, and some guns are going to be better than other guns in certain situations, and that's where um, some of the next things I'm about to tell you are going to come into play. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down range a little bit more. So what you're seeing on your screen right now is the percentage of damage each gun does at range from its total uh, close quarter damage. So for example, if the AKS does 100 damage up close, it'll do 67 damage at 60 meters away because that's how much that's the percent of damage it does at a farther distance so as you can tell the gun with the best far range rating or best far range percentage of damage uh, is the AKS and the worst is the MSMC which makes sense because the MSMC is a close range SMG and the AKS is a far range um, but obviously this doesn't take into account the original close quarter damage so now what you're looking at is just the total damage that the guns are going to do at that range so if you shoot someone you're going to do this much damage damage uh, and the HD 40 has 17 and then the MSMC has 13 and then everything in between but then once again this doesn't factor on how fast the gun shoots or the recoil or anything so if we go ahead and now look at the damage per second at this range it's going to show how much damage the gun will do if you hit every single shot at this range Okay, so now what you're looking at is the damage per second at this range. And as you can tell, the AKS does have the highest. MSMC is really close, but obviously the MSMC kicks like crazy. Uh, and then the HG40 and the Chikum are at the bottom with the PPW being in the middle with a very solid 186 damage per second. So obviously this doesn't take into account the recoil of each weapon. So what I decided to do is color code each weapon by its recoil and how easy it is to control. And out of these, I do want to highlight that the MSMC is not a ranged weapon. So it doesn't really really makes sense to look at its range uh it is a close range shredder this is going to be a gun that's super 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 good at close range and then far range it works but most of the time you're not going to be wanting to use it so as i said we will be introducing a time to kill and what you're seeing right now is the time that it takes to kill someone if you shoot them in the legs arms or body this doesn't include the head so just keep that in mind but the time that it takes to kill someone if you shoot someone and hit every single shot and the rating on the left the cqb rating stands for close quarter battle so this is going to be uh fights within five meters and then on the right you're going to see the time to kill if you're shooting someone at 60 meters and you hit every single shot i do want to note that this doesn't factor in recoil it's only if you hit every single shot so do keep that in mind that like the msmc at 60 meters you're more than likely not going to be hitting every single shot and also it's if you were shooting the gun full auto so as you can tell in close range the msmc has by far the fastest time to kill it actually is faster than the human can react which is insane uh, and then the hd40 has the slowest and then at range the fastest is the msmc and uh the slowest is the chicom so now what you're going to be seeing is a breakdown of the time to kill for each smg this is courtesy of mario ray on reddit so I actually didn't do any of the math here or anything. All I did is I took what he said in his post and all the data that he found and put it into a visual representation. So I just want to say I didn't double check this, but based on everything I know and everything I've tested, it all does seem perfectly accurate. I do also want to mention that he didn't do the Chikum, which is totally fine with me because I don't like that gun anyway. And I don't think it's a gun that's super worth testing. It is. It definitely got better in the update, but I still don't think it's as good as some of these other weapons. So just note that the data for the Chikum won't be here. But with that being said, what you're seeing right now is the time to kill for each gun at its certain range, and you can see what that range is. So, so if you look at the HD 40, for example, the time to kill is 0.333 seconds um, up to 15 meters. And then for the MSMC, the time to kill is 0.193 seconds up to 7 uh, meters away. So this might be pretty hard to break down in this form, so we're going to go ahead and break it down by the best guns at ranges. 
So the first range we're going to look at is from 0 to 13 meters, and from 0 to 13 meters, the MSMC has the fastest time to kill of any weapon. Uh, it could either have 0.193 up to 5 meters, and then from 5 to 13 meters, you're going to be getting a time to kill of 0.258. The PDW does have a 0.24 time to kill, but at that range, the MSMC would be killing at 0.193, so it doesn't really matter anyway. And then the slowest is the HD40 up close. So the king of the 0 to 13 meter range is 100% the MSMC, but obviously this doesn't take into account recoil. So if you can handle the recoil of every single weapon, then the MSMC is the best. But obviously the recoil on the MSMC is pretty brutal to uh, handle. The next range is from 13 to 20. If we go ahead and look at what guns do the most damage at 13 to 20, you're going to notice that it's the AKS and the PDW are very, very close at 0 0.003 seconds apart, which is honestly like nothing to be honest. And then also, if you remember from the recoil chart, the PDW does have a more easy to control recoil. So honestly, I'm going to give the PDW the uh, 13 to 20 meter range just solely because it's such a minor difference between the AKS and the PDW and the recoil is just so much better better on the PDW. I do want to mention though at about 19 or 20 meters it does fall off to 0.4 seconds but that's only like it's barely right at 20 meters that that happens so uh, honestly it's not something you really have to worry about. And then the HD40 can actually be down to 0.333 seconds. That's at around 13 to 15 meters though. So within that range, it will be killing in 0.333 seconds, which is still slower than all of the other weapons besides the MSMC. All right, and then the last range that we're gonna be looking at is the 20 plus meters. And as you're gonna tell, the fastest time to kill is the MSMC. But once again, the MSMC kicks like crazy, especially at this range, it's gonna be basically useless because you're not gonna be hitting any shots. You can't full auto it. You can maybe like tap fire, uh, but this is looking at full auto guns. Um, so the fastest gun actually at this range is going to be the PDW. The AKS is fast, but that's only at 20 to I think 25 meters. So right around there, it will be faster than the PDW. But for everything else, the PDW is going to be the fastest to kill while also having a very, very easy to manage recoil. And then obviously it has 50 rounds in the magazine, so you can afford to actually miss some shots. So this video is already getting kind of long, so I'm probably not going to show you guys a ton of graphics at the end. Basically, my final conclusion is that the best close range SMG is going to be the MSMC. The best overall SMG is going to be the PDW. Uh, the one that got hurt the most by far is the AKS. It is still a very viable SMG, and I do think it is slightly better at range than the PDW, but the thing that really kills it is the fact that the recoil now is so much worse than the PDW, and then the reload speed is bad, and just like things like that lead me to, to believe, and then also after testing both guns and actually playing with them, that the PDW is just in general a better weapon. It also does have a significantly faster time to kill than the AKS up close. And then the Chicom, I would consider the most improved in the update. It is a weapon that is fun to use. It works, but it's not a weapon that you're going to be seeing people competitively using uh, against players that are using like the PDW, the MSMC, the Type 25, stuff like that. And then the HD40, I put as the, why does Ferg like this gun? Because I don't, I just can't comprehend. Other than it having extremely low recoil, I can't see how it would be a good gun. Um, that is one thing though, it does have super low recoil, so it's really, really, really easy to use. So if you're playing players that are not great, then yeah it's gonna be amazing but like if you're playing against players that are using the msmc using the type 25 using the pdw all those weapons it's you're gonna be put at a disadvantage just by using that weapon and i think the pdw's recoil is easy enough to manage that it's a, a better pick than the hd40 in general I also want to mention that the movement speed for all the weapons are all almost exactly the same. It's literally like within like a, a millisecond different between each gun, which could have been a mess up in my testing, but they are all 6.57 meters per second. And for reference, the type 25 is 6.2 meters per second. I probably will do a video soon comparing all the guns in depth, but I do want to mention that the Type 25 is basically better than all of these guns except the MSMC up close, up far. Like at every range, the Type 25 beats all of these guns except the MSMC up close. If you do put the lightweight perk on, you're going to be running faster than all of the SMGs anyway, so there is a way to kind of compensate for that and make the Type 25 more like a SMG. But then once again, the MSMC is a true SMG and it'll shred up close. Uh, it'll shred even more than the Type 25. So it is a gun that you could take over the Type 25 for sure. But if you are looking for just a very reliable, great SMG, I say the PDW is the way to go. And if you're looking for something that you can just shred people with up close, the MSMC is 100% the way. And then every other gun is just kind of like a, yeah, 
it works. But yeah, so with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, the LMG video should be coming up next. I hope you guys did have a good Thanksgiving if you do celebrate. And then I want to give a shout out to our channel members. You guys can see how to join the channel on the screen right now. Uh, but also a special thank you to CBK Killer. He is a ultimate fan, which is the $25 class. So thank you so much, CBK Killer and all the other members as well. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a like and a sub down below and I will see you guys later. Peace.